mentioned Monday that you know parents want their players to get more, you know, their sons to get more reps and playing time. Um, when those conversations take place, what do you say to parents that are concerned about that? Well, first of all, with Kyle, Kyle continues to progress. Kyle has been slow a uh, high ankle sprain, so I think that is kind of you know to his credit. Uh, he's continued to work hard, and Kyle's one of those individuals that don't say two words. He just comes out there and works. But I know that, you know, he's been slowed a little bit by that. Uh, obviously, with the absence of Latroy and Lewis, Kyle will get an opportunity Saturday. And I trust Kyle. We all trust Kyle. I love Kyle. He's worked very hard. And, you know, he'll get his opportunity. I know that Kyle will make the most of it. And Kyle's one of those individuals, again, that great character, a competitor, comes to work every day. Uh, is he disappointed in some of the injuries that have occurred? Absolutely. But, you know, again, he just he continues to work. In terms of the parents, you know, I'm a parent. And, shoot, I want my kid to play. And, you know, you just stay in the course. I think we have so many great illustrations, you know, around us that if you're just patient, things will happen. And, you know, I kind of echo the comments that's been around the country by every other head coach that have said the same thing. So again, I think it's the world we live in. Uh, I'm a parent, I want the same things. I have a parent that's a sophomore in high school that wants to play more as well. Um, you know, you stay the course and, you know, I don't want to burden you with questions, but I remind my wife of this all the time is, you know, our son Alex has a bicuspid heart valve, never played high school football, tried to get him to kick, he wouldn't kick. And then his senior year, he comes to me and he says, Dad, I want to be a kicker. And I said, well, if you're going to be a kicker, you're going to commit to everything that you have to be the best kicker that you can be. And Will Hoyt helped us out and did a tremendous job and taught him from ground zero. And uh, it was the week leading into the Utah State game. And I come home on a Monday, and Barb is sitting up waiting for me, and she says, I need to talk to you. And I said, well, what's going on? And she says, well, it's Alex. He's third string, and he wants to quit the team. He just is his senior year, Butch, and you know, he wants to enjoy his senior year. And I looked at her and I said, he's not quitting. And I walked upstairs, tapped him on the shoulder, woke him up. I looked at him very brash, brashly, or however you want to say it, uh, boastfully. I looked at him and I said, you're not quitting. And I turned around and walked down the stairs. And uh, a couple days later, uh, I get a phone call from Barb again, and she says, Alex needs to talk to you. It's very important. And so the way kids communicate, I call him, and he says nothing to me. And I said, well, Mom told me to call you. He says, oh, yeah, Dad, I just wanted to tell you I'm starting. And I told my wife that was a great, great lesson in parenting because we could have said, go ahead and quit, and he would have never experienced Friday Night Lights. He would have never experienced what it was to compete uh, at Knoxville Catholic and on a great football team, and he wouldn't be a part of our football team. And I think that was a lesson uh, well learned, and that's something that you know I apply to being the coach here, and you know speaking with parents and players about you know just stay the course. Tom Brady wouldn't be Tom Brady. NFL Network did a great documentary on him. You look at Peyton Manning; he came in here with a number of highly recruited quarterbacks. You know, life is. It's all about resiliency and resolve, and you just have to keep working. Um, and, and those things, you know, will, will come about.